some people say that they are born the way they are destined to be. Karen, it is a beautiful, healthy baby girl. <laughs> some people say that it's a result of how you were raised. That's it, good girl. You're so good. Oh, mommy told. Problem with that theory is that I had the best, most normal parents anyone could have asked for. She let me sleep today. She let me sleep for two hours. Show mommy how you do that. That's it, sweetie. Growing up, I was a happy kid. Oh, that's the happy birthday, Ashley. Thank you. On your we were really the picture-perfect all-American family. I was five when I knew I wasn't like my family. But it was at my uncle's wedding that I had the first sinking feeling that I wouldn't grow up to be like them. Sometimes I wonder that if I had just ignored how that flower boy made me feel, I could have turned out just like them, normal. What do you want to play now? I don't know. Want to play house? How about Ashley and I be the mommies and you boys be our kids and have to do whatever we say? No fair. Well, that's what mommies do. Hey, how about we be the daddies and you do whatever we say? Yeah. No way. I got an idea. How about David and I play mommy and daddy? That's really weird. No, it'll be fun. That's really disgusting. What, are you some kind of breeder? No, I'm not. R2. Am not. R2. Am not. R2. Come on, David. We don't play with breeders. I'm telling everyone that you're a disgusting breeder. I tried really hard just to be normal after that. Hey, guys. You did such a great job in the suicide scene today. It made me cry. Thanks. I thought it went pretty well, too. I wish Julia's part was for a girl. Ashley likes boys. 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 Oh, Ashley, you're so beautiful. Kiss me. Ian, coming. Ashley, did you tell your mom that you got cast in the school play? Hmm? School play? I thought we decided you were trying out for the football team. I didn't make the team. What? After all the coaching I paid for? I'm sorry, Mom, I'm just not coordinated. But you're coordinated enough to act? Isn't that for boys? No, it's for girls, too. We're doing Romeo and Julia. I'm playing the nurse. That's wonderful, isn't it, honey? Did you know that Shakespeare wrote it for his true love, Duchess of Southampton? Duchess? Shakespeare was a heterosexual? Yeah. Well, he loved her so much, but he couldn't divorce his husband. So, he wrote Romeo and Julia to express his love. Who told you that? Oh, Mr. Thompson. Who's he? The drama teacher. I need to make a call to that school. Mm-hmm. And did you see who moved in down the street? No. Mm -hmm. A hetero couple. How do you know? I saw them getting out of their car. He put his arm around her, and they have a pink and blue flag on their bumper. <laughs> well, that is really blatant. <laughs> Ashley, I want you and Cooper going around the other way to school. But that's twice as long. I don't care. I'm not going to have you exposed to that perverted lifestyle, men and women living together. It's a sin. It makes me sick just thinking about it. So 
revolting. Honey, can I get some more bread? In light of recent events in the Netherlands, where heterosexual marriage is now allowed, Pope Joan VII wants to remind Catholics all over the world that the Church has not changed its stance on this issue. Her Holiness reminds us, and I quote, it is a sin for a man to lust after a woman. It is an abomination for a woman to lie with a man outside of the breeding season. Any such person harboring lust in their heart for the opposite sex will burn in hell. Let us pray. Just admit you're a rogue, bro. Paula, <laughs> what are you doing in the boys' bathroom? Come on, all of you, get back to class. Come on, Paula, get going. Ashley, over here. You know, Ashley, this school has a zero tolerance policy for this kind of behavior. Imagine if your mothers had seen you holding hands with a boy in public. I should really call both of your parents, but I'll let this be punishment enough. Thank you, sir. This is just a phase that you're going through. You'll grow out of it. Yes, sir. You know, Ashley, maybe if you got yourself a girlfriend, all this teasing would stop. Now, finish cleaning up and get back to class. I really did hope that it was just a phase like Mr. Thompson had said. But then I remembered how strong Ian's hand felt and what the thought of kissing him did to me. And I knew that it wasn't a phase. And I hated myself for it. Romeo is banished. All to the world to nothing. That he dares near come back to challenge you. Or if he do, it must be by stealth. I think it best you marry with the county. Oh, he's a lovely gentleman. I can't do this anymore. What? But I thought you liked me. I do. Did. Look, my brother found out. He threatened to tell my parents. They'd kill me if they found out. No, they wouldn't. They love you. You don't know my dad's. My aunt Sarah came out and the entire family cut her off. We're not even allowed to say her name. Papa says God hates breeders, and they're all going to burn in hell. Well, can I kiss you just one last time? Please, I don't know when I'm ever going to get to kiss a boy again. She keeps touching me like this. I was just trying to be nice to her. I hate you, Ashley Curtis. Stay away from me. That's the problem. You can't be nice to heteros. But you can always teach them a lesson. Grab her.
So this is the little queer bait that tried to hold my brother's hand. He wanted me to. No, he didn't. He forced him. We saw her kiss him. Just now. Didn't we? Yeah. yeah. You friggin' breeder. Grab her! You queer. Smear the queer! Smear the queer! Smear the queer! Do us all a favor, Rob, and kill yourself. Uh, yes, it's Karen. Ashley didn't come home at, at, she left school. Why did she pick her up? Ashley, her up. It, it, I know, but if she hasn't been home since school. And, <laughs> right? Well, that was 245. Ashley? That was 245, and it's Ashley. over six here. What the hell happened to I'll you? Tell, I'll call you later. <gasps> oh, my. Not again. Oh, Ashley, baby, sweetie, what Who happened? Who did this to you? Look at me, look at me. Ashley, who did this to you? Nobody. Well, you didn't do it to yourself now, did you? That's enough. Honey, please. Who did this to you? I want to know right now. Paula, Snyder, Andrew, Angelie. Oh, Ashley, honey. All right, then, uh, march yourself upstairs. March upstairs and get yourself cleaned up. And you're gonna start karate lessons tomorrow. No, I'm not gonna have my kid get beat up every day. No. Well, this is your Dude. fault. No, no, I don't hurt. I don't call her. You would her. not let me punish her after one night and help back again under her mattress. Oh, God, Vicki, she was eight years old. What am I yeah, supposed well, to do? Yeah, well, I am not going to have a breeder growing up in this house. Do you think I want her to be a breeder? I don't know. This do you isn't think... normal. I don't even know what's going on with her. I just kids don't act like this, okay? No, I'm not listening to you anymore because obviously something is going wrong with her. Fine, fine. So maybe we just, maybe we just pack up the house and maybe we just yeah, move. Let's just, let's just move. So the same thing's gonna happen in the next town. And something's wrong with her. I don't, I don't, I don't understand her. I don't know what's going on with her. She's just an normal child. <laughs> Thank you, Breeder! You know what? Cooper's gonna get beat up here. If we stay here, Cooper's gonna get beat up too! Ashley. 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 Ashley.